The mission of Boulder Food Rescue is simple. Stop wasting food and start feeding more people. The way they fulfill this mission is truly inspired and it started with one very visionary person. Help me welcome this wonderful lady, Hannah Dansky. She's the founder of Boulder Food Rescue and thanks so much for coming in, yeah, especially today on. Yeah. on a snowy day. So talk about how the Boulder Fu Food Rescue actually works. Yeah, sure. So we're um, a nonprofit organization. We've been around for about four years and it's primarily volunteers that are doing the actual shifts of redistributing food. But we go and we pick up from a grocery store and it's food that they would otherwise have wasted, but instead they put it aside for us. And mm -hmm. then we come in, we take that food, and then we take it directly to um, a number of different organizations that are serving low income or homeless That's individuals so in our community. And we do it primarily by bicycle. And you created this. I think it's so awesome. A young person is paying it forward in life and helping others instead of just thinking about their own personal needs. That's very cool that sure. you did that. It was myself and a few friends that put it all together as a bunch of passionate people and now it's a group of 150 active volunteers at any given wow. time. 150 volunteers, that's amazing. How much food do you distribute? So we distribute about a thousand pounds of food a day, um, primarily focused on fruits and vegetables and then take it directly to people. And so thus far we've distributed 1.3 million pounds of food. How much food actually goes to waste? 40% of everything that we produce in this country ends up going to waste. And that happens on all levels of distribution from farms to distributing it to grocery stores to actually in our homes. So no we're idea. primarily focused on the retail um, side of things where we work with grocery stores to donate their food waste instead of throw it away. Um, but it happens throughout the country. I had no idea. And what type of food do you actually rescue? So we're focused primarily on fruits and vegetables because that's the mm -hmm. healthier food that is harder to obtain if you're low income um, because of subsidies and how it all works. And so we really want to make sure that we're distributing healthy food to people that don't have access to that. Share a good story. Give me an example of food rescue and how you paid it forward. Yeah, sure. I mean, I have a few stories of just like strapping um, uh, hundreds of pounds of food to my bike and then biking across town and you know like hitting bumps and having cantaloupe fly out the <laughs> back and trying to collect it all and so um, there's all sorts of good stories like that but for me it's like connecting with people so nice. what, for what inspires me to continue doing what I'm doing is like when I show up to let's say like a low-income senior home we work with right. a few of those and instead of taking it directly to um, places where it's harder for them to get it, we can take it directly to people and, and their um, individuals at the site organize like essentially like a free food pantry in That's their own community so rooms and they go around and they gather all of their neighbors and they all know each other and so when I drop to places like that, low income family sites or senior mm -hmm. homes and just start talking to people and they're like, yeah, it's hey, the one on one so communication. Exactly. For me, it's all about relationships. You're talking about maybe um, an apple that has a bruise on it. And a banana that's not old, but you know, they wouldn't sell it in the grocery store that's still healthy and still sure. edible. Totally. Something that's like not exactly perfect anymore. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's like we will get um, a, the grocery store will get like a new shipment in of some type of produce and things that we get just like seem perfect. But we you don't mentioned really know. you were riding your bikes and cantaloupes are flying everywhere. <laughs> Why do you use bikes? Um, so initially we were, you know, bike advocates that wanted to make sure that we were trying to be as em environmentally friendly as possible. And I, I mean, I guess that's really the case. Like if you think about recovering food that has an immense amount of resources put into it and then um, ends up going into the landfill to use cars, we just like use more of those resources. And, you know, we find that food goes to waste like literally blocks away from where people need it. And it also it enables us to to like have a community of volunteers that really care about the mission of yes. bike advocacy, um, food waste, and food insecurity. Just to see you smile, your whole face lights up when you talk about <laughs> it. You've done wonderful things, and I'm sure there's other cities that have caught on to this great idea. Yeah, so thus far since we've started Boulder Food Rescue, um, there's been a bunch of other people that have contacted us from around the country um, that have wanted to start that. They're a similar type model to go directly to people, to use bikes, to care about um, participating with food insecure people. And so mm. we, we try to like use those values to help inform different models, even though every city kind of looks really different. But right. now there's a Denver Food Rescue, Colorado Springs, Jackson wow. Hole, Seattle. You've changed the world, kid. Um, That's awesome. You and your friends. Working on it. <laughs> you have an event coming up in April. What is it? So in April, there is an event called the Ford Food Summit, and it's actually going to be hosted in Denver this year. And so it's a collaboration between Denver Food Rescue and Boulder Food Rescue as a part of our Food Rescue Alliance Network putting it on. And it's a conference on food and economy. So we're really looking at food justice and trying to look at 
um, job readiness and integration programs in the food sector. This is a great example. One person truly can change the world. Thank you, Hannah. Thanks for having me on. Great idea. You can be a rescuer of food and help be a solution to food waste. Contact Boulder Food Rescue and be a part of the movement in your community. The number to call is 720-445-5BFR. That's 720-445-5237. Or you can go online to boulderfoodrescue.org.